Tonight, we know much more about the man who was shot and killed by U.S. Marshals. We have learned it happened when they were trying to arrest Anthony Chavez for a federal probation violation. KOAT Action 7 News reporter Laura Terrain has more on who he was. Court records and this mugshot highlight Anthony Chavez's criminal past. Last year, he was arrested for vehicular homicide. Those charges were pending when he died. But in this picture, friends and neighbors say they see a very different Anthony Chavez, a family man who left behind a wife and two kids when he was shot and killed by U.S. Marshals. They were trying to serve him with an arrest warrant. He was a great guy. Very great guy. I mean, he would drop what he's doing to help anybody. At, at any time, really. Royce Platero says Chavez offered up his landscaping expertise to redo Platero's yard. He did my entire yard, my front yard, my backyard, everything. And, and he, was just, he was an awesome guy. In the six days since the shooting, Action 7 News has pressed for answers from the marshals, Albuquerque police, and the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office about what happened. Finally, APD has shed some light. They say Marshal Kenneth Daniels shot and killed Chavez after trying to serve an arrest warrant at his home. Our partners at the Journal report he was on federal probation after he admitted to smuggling undocumented immigrants into the U.S. He was a very good guy. So I, I would honestly, as, as close as my son is with his son, I would, I would honestly say we're practically family. Platero tells me he'll stay in touch with the family and so will his son, who's very close to Chavez's little boy and has a message for his best friend. Sorry yeah. for, for losing your dad. Now, there's still a lot we don't know. No one has said exactly what led up to the shooting or whether Chavez was armed at the time. We've asked the U.S. Marshals for more details many times, including today, and we'll continue to press for those answers. Back to you.